Yes, I assure you this is still golf story, I just have a little announcement. Yeah, I caught another cold. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm mostly over it by now, it's just, I had to wait a while to record parts again. I'm uh, recording this on the day that I uploaded part 35, so yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, you know, between the time that I wrote the comment that I said that I had a cold in there and the time that I'm saying it here, I've mostly recovered. So, I think I should be okay. And also, new title screen. <laughs> Story mode and whoa! You got a lot of poop going on over there now. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so what we're looking for now is a caddy. Now, I thought about it. I don't know where exactly I'm gonna go, but what I mean about thinking about it is that I think the best idea that I have to look for a caddy is since there wasn't any other caddy at those two places that I've been wandering around at, perhaps, just maybe, the caddy that I can get to volunteer here is somewhere over here in Wellborn Grove because, well, it's the, the people that I know the most, as this is my home course, well, the character's home course, so it makes the most sense to search around here. Now, will I cut... Did you have this many mowers here before? Now, while I could cut ahead until I find the, the, the person that I'm looking for, it just doesn't seem right in the the spirit of the blind walkthrough, especially since I'm trying to give you an idea of how I figure out things as I go with logic and just searching and stuff like that. A new grass worked perfectly, yes, except you've got to mow it, it's deep rough. What do you think? It's, uh, nice. Thought you might like it. Yeah, I don't remember him having these many mowers before. Then again, it's been a while since I recorded. But anyway, <laughs> I presume that the person that I'm looking for that will like to be my caddy has dot dot dots above their head. They're probably going to be like in the clubhouse or something like that. But I'm just giving a little once over around the perimeter here really quick just to kind of knock off the remainder of options that may or may not come along my way and wouldn't it be funny if Lucky decided to be my caddy? <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't think he would. He's all for one and one for himself. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's definitely a no-go. Hmm. If I were a caddy, where would I be? Maybe at the start? Of the course, uh, maybe, perhaps. Eh, mm, I don't know. Maybe there's a caddy waiting for me now over at Tidy Park or something. I, oh, and I also noticed I called it like Sky Park or something before. I don't know why I called it that. I think because I had the mountainous area in mind. And yeah, okay. So I was definitely through there. Definitely through. Wait, wait. Hold on. The cafe. Cafe might have, well, soda bar, I should say. They might have some people that don't have uh, anything else to do. <laughs> be me five coins and have my attention. Uh -huh. Well, how about you? You be my caddy? Nah, nah, of course not. <laughs> so, I'm still, still at a loss. Like, when I, oops, whoops, no, no, no. Like, when I checked my notes before, it didn't really say who would like to be my caddy. It just, yeah, it just said that. <laughs> I can't even go in there. And I still have the catcher's coin, so yeah, just just as a reminder that I did check that before. That's partly why I'm still kind of at a loss. So I guess my caddy is not there. Uh, would any of the disc jockeys like to be my caddy? Maybe. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I'm just looking for people with dots above their head because that's usually where it it seems like the we're being led in the right direction, and yeah, these are the only four four guys that were hanging out around here, so I guess that is out. Um, yeah, I know there's still the beach area and also the caveman area and stuff like that to check over, but someone's gotta wanna be, <laughs> like someone we know probably well. So I'm just looking for like the people that we've come across a bunch of times before for like storyline reasons or something like that. That's kind of the, the logical way that I go about doing things, but who knows? It might just be a... Uh, a random person that we've never met before that'll be like, yeah, I, I could use a, a caddying job for the right price or something like that. And we've got to do like a bunch of side quests to get like $3,000 <laughs> more than what we have now or something. I don't know. 
Uh, so yeah, we're just taking a look see around. That's not really. Yeah, you're not. You guys are not really caddy material, I guess, if you don't have the dots above your head. Only caddies will probably have dots above their head, is what I'm guessing. Or I could be wrong. Maybe I should be talking to everyone and everything. Maybe even the animals, too. Like, maybe the turtles would like to be my caddy. Who knows? All I know is I'm probably better off going over here next instead of the beach. Because there are a bunch of characters that we had multiple encounters with here, so... It seems like a good idea to check over. Mm, no. <laughs> I... Well... I... Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think there are any people like sitting out in the middle of the course last I remember, unless there's new people hanging out there now, but I'm gonna assume not. <laughs> just just probably my best guess, yeah. I think that this place is a no-go because he was the only guy that was here before. And he's always near the start, unless you count the turtles, but we already threw out the turtles in the lake and I didn't see any new ones walking about on the shore, so... Yeah, and these three, they stay where they be. Oh, and I just noticed that that surfer dude is over here, and... Wait, does that mean surfer dude is not over at the beach area? Because that's where I'm going next anyway, but I mean... Wasn't that surfer dude or dude at the... Um, part of the catchers and doing doing the th yeah, Are, you're not the same one. <laughs> okay, I, I, I maybe I, I don't know. The sprites look so similar. <laughs> hmm. Oh wait a second. I helped this guy with his wallet. So you think he'll be able to pay me back with a caddying job? Um, nah. <laughs> I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Unless the, the caddy that I'm looking for is back over at Tidy Park, but... Ah, That doesn't seem... Because we were through there before, and we didn't get a caddy, and it looked like we can do things out of order, and like, in, in any order that we please, so... So... Maybe not. I mean, I, I guess I'll end up back there eventually anyway, so I guess I'll do that last, but... Wait, wait, hold on! Hello? That was some first-class golfing you performed there. I designed the challenge worthy of Max Yards, but it looks like he won't be staying. Perhaps you can beat it. You need to reach the screen from here. Oh no, another long drive! <laughs> do I have the power to do so? And it's starting me from the dock. Do I have the power to do so? Probably, with the skimming woods. So let's go ahead and launch one over there at max power. Yes, I went there, and see how it goes. The splooshy splat- Ooh. That's uh, that's going a little little farther than I was expecting there. <laughs> How do we go all the way back over here? Wait, is that going? Yeah, I was going through the tree. Okay, let's try it again. A little bit less power, a little bit off to the side. One bounce, two bounce. Well, that might be a better plan. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and try instead with top spin. And, wait, wait, and a little curve. Just to get it to angle itself towards the green. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. Go ball, go, and stay on the green, hopefully. <laughs> nah, hmm. That I don't think is gonna work. Maybe I will have to do full power, but instead that backspin thing that I tried before. Let's find out! Yeah, I know the wind is with me too, but I'm just trying to kind of figure out what they're trying to get out of me here. Ooh, oh! Oh, well, I mean, yes, that does give me... Man, that thing skims for a long time. I'm just trying to kind of utilize what I am given here. Try, how about way back over here with the driver? How does that sound? I'm probably gonna have to re redo this challenge. We'll see. Just gotta land on the green ones. So I might just end up getting severely lucky. Oh, 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 I did it! <laughs> Alright, impressive display. The camera should be pointed at you. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> it took me five shots to do it, but thank you, I guess. Camera will be chasing after you one day. I don't think Max Yards would want to be my caddy, do you? <laughs> just, just, uh, I don't know, maybe you would, you would like to 
check out my technique as like a sneaky first-hand look into the the power that the I guess you could say long drive championship was able to achieve or something I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, nope. doesn't look like there's a caddy around here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably just go to Tidy Park. There probably is something there now. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of ran out of options anyway, but yeah. I mean, we were through the uh, spooky town, ghastly grove of doom, so... It's, wait, hold on a sec. Hold on. I want to see anything, like, that I want to... Okay, just wanted to be sure that there wasn't somebody over at that area. And I interacted with the edge by pressing the A button. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Maybe Lorraine would like to be my caddy. I never thought about that before. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, perfect timing. Oh, so I guess you're not in the clubhouse, you're here. I have an exciting business opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Hmm? What's going on? Oh, hello, Max. Perfect timing. Yeah, uh, yes. Hey there, Teddy. What are you doing here? I'm caddying for Max now. I'm studying him. Well, we're talking caddies. We might be on the right track. My swing is textbook, but his is built for distance. Yeah, but I thought she was in the clubhouse of the other, like, tidy park place. Guess not. She moved here. He's a caddy now, is he? I don't want anything else to do with this guy. <laughs> Get rid of him! Oh, well, I guess he might be our caddy then. I'm very sorry, I had no idea. Perhaps you two could settle it in a match. Ooh, fine. But when I beat him, I never want to see him again. Sure, if you beat him. Hey, Teddy, would you caddy for me if I won the match? I'm a professional. What do you have to offer him? Yes, it does seem rather like trading down. But having said that, if you beat Max, that means your swing must be superior. So we're actually going to get a match with Max. Cool. Plus, you very much like to shadow you if that's the case. Name the course! Well, we're go- The Bermuda- <laughs> The Bermuda Isles. I've already got the camera crew out there. We'll make a course vlog out of- <laughs> Put it on YouTube! Fun, come on, Teddy. Alright, so Bermuda Isles it is. I can't help you with anything. I'm still waiting to be trained. I, I'm pretty sure you could probably, like, I don't know, you could dust the countertop at the very least. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could do something if you really wanted to. You don't need to be trained for something like that. Uh, anyway, so I guess Bermuda Isles, we go back again. Wait, wait, don't know what am I doing. It's, enter there, enter there, not at the top area. Alright, so he's probably, probably meeting us in the clubhouse or something. Oh, oh or there. Uh, but first, I should actually see here if uh, Starter Dude has anything to say about... Uh, no, okay. Same thing. Same thing as before. I thought maybe they'd be like, Whoa, Max Yars is here! He's gonna play around on my course! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Or something like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> These guys probably have new... He looks glorious today. <laughs> I hope he plays well today. I figured Max is going to win, being as he's a pro. <laughs> Don't count on it. <laughs> going to lose. I, I was training on the most difficult course you can possibly imagine in the last part. I'm not gonna lose this. Ready for the big match? No. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Take it away when ready, guys. Alright, we're getting our caddy whether he likes it or not. I'm going to crush you! Won't even be a match. And afterwards, I won't have to see your smug face again. Ooh. I tell you what, if you were just 360 yards further, you might stand a chance. And we're rolling. I, I mean, hey guys, thanks for checking the video out. I'm not a meme guy or anything. Got to keep on my public image, but hey, we've got some exciting match play actually coming at you today. Bermuda Isles is the course, and we're playing nine holes. There's only nine holes here. I've got my good buddy with me here. He's still an amateur, but he's showing a lot of promise. Yes, our, our buddies. So we'll see how our week goes today. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Alright. That, uh, um, let's get stuck in line. I don't, I don't know if they got that from Mark Crossfield, because that's one of his lines. But anyway, <laughs> it's just reminding me of him. <laughs> Alright, 
So we're back on the course that I had difficulties with because of the, uh, the ire that was the sand around it, but since I've got a little bit more distance this time, perhaps, maybe I'll have a little bit less issue because I'm able to stop my ball more readily. Why is it every time I play the first hole, I get... <laughs> I hit it in from a long distance. I... Okay, not every time, but it sure feels like it. Yes, I learned a lot from that. Nice shot. <laughs> I've already won. Why is that water so close to the green? It's an island! And I already... <laughs> I guess that's a badge for a hole-in-one to boot. Looks like a... Kiwi? Of sorts? I I, I I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright. We're off. And that's a par four. Can Max Yards drive it in one? Probably. Can I drive it in one? Definitely not. So I'm going over here. I'm just gonna play my own game and let Max destroy himself or something, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, he could do pretty well on some holes considering he's the pro after all, but after that incredibly difficult. <laughs> finally, some distance to work with. After that incredibly difficult. Oh, that's actually okay. That incredibly difficult challenge, I feel ready to cover anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, after that last one, it just, it's making everything feel a whole lot easier. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe I should put some spin on that and instead go a little closer, yeah. Because it looks like the, that the spin is indeed working for me for stopping the ball as long as I land it relatively short. Look at that, beautiful! Yeah! I like those apples, Max. Or balls, Max, or... Maybe, maybe I should stop talking. <laughs> Man, he's got, got some hot flaming balls there, but... Yes, yes you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could have gone on the green from there. <laughs> and Well, you could have putted that and maybe hold out. But that's just my, my amateur opinion. These greens here are very receptive. <laughs> that means the greens aren't making the balls stick. Basically, and that, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make receptive to the catch of the, uh, the spin of the ball, but that's well, it's it's an well, I guess I was gonna say it's because like as a tropical area, they should, in theory, be pretty uh, pretty dried out, and you know you'd think so, but maybe I don't know, maybe not, because by all this water and. Maybe they got a good sprinkler system, although this is ocean water and that might not be good for the grass, so who knows? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a I'm not a course manager or anything like that. I'm just kinda going by nature. <laughs> and oh no, no oh shoot! The heath. Ah well, rough and the heath to boot. Well, no, it's not what I was aiming for, but I mishit this uh, impact area and I went left. Our fives are my specialty, so I will crush you. Even if he, even if he beats me this hole, unbar. <laughs> even if he beats me this hole, it's still he's gonna be one down. So, yeah, just just saying there, Max Yards. Oh, I like that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit through the trees to let that slow it down, and just get myself back to the fairway. Just kind of use the leaves to my advantage. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I'm not sure I would do that in real life because branches can really knock your shot offline, but well. <laughs> oh! Ooh, I thought that was gonna go in the water. Got a little got a little scared for him there. Why are these greens so tiny? <laughs> maybe maybe I should have been I mean if you if I if the she would have let me pick Wellborn Grohl, you might not have had this much issue, but anyway. Um I d I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what if I were to switch to a power shot and go down a club or two? Maybe that'll help me with my spin, because I'll have a higher loft landing? Hopefully? I've done this trick in Mario Golf before, but I don't know if it'll work in uh, Golf Story. We're about to find out! Sorta. That would have stayed, but it was just the angle that I was hitting it at, and... Well, yeah. <laughs> Even on the chip shots, it's got the, the flaming balls of doom. Oh, come on! <laughs> um, how is it? How is my shot plugged? I don't... It just rolled off the green. There's no... Unless it landed in a hole that someone else didn't 
break or something. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna try putting this anyway. I'm just gonna go max power, max yards, maybe hit him up there. Uh, that was a close, close attempt. Not bad, I guess. I, I played for the medium slope, but it wasn't quite right. Ooh, he got me for once. <laughs> That is okay. As I said, I, I would still be one up, so yeah. Remember, distance is not everything, as I've been saying for a while. It's more about the accuracy. So even if he gets me on a par 5 or 2, it doesn't mean he's gonna get me all over the place. As a matter of fact, he probably won't. <laughs> I'm gonna use my skimming woods to my advantage here and go for that angled fairway. Heck yeah, baby! The power of the skimming woods are unmatched, but the power of his biceps, well, they, they might be a match, I don't know, we'll see. Oh no! Oh, actually, technically, I drove him there, and I wasn't using the long drive power club. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm in a little better position. <laughs> uh, uh oh. What do you, um, you said only a wedge left and you aimed over there? That looked on purpose. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we've got to try and hopefully get our ball to stick on this little square monstrosity they call a green. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And it's off! And it's on! Oh yeah! Alright, so I think going under the ball like that with the uh, uh, impact area... Ooh, uh, sorry pro man. This is not looking good for you. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go back to two up soon. <laughs> because, unless he hold that iron. Well, no, actually, no! Even if you hold that out, it would have still been a lost cause because I'm. Oh, no! Because I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna birdie this. So, yeah. Okay, and prof! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I only get one point for that, though. I mean, it's three strokes ahead. Actually, that would have been th four strokes ahead. But still, it's match play, so I only get one point for that, because it's on a hole-by-hole -hole basis. Could you imagine if this was stroke play, though? Like with that hole-in-one that I got in the first hole? You would have probably gotten a par or something on that, probably, and I would have been two more strokes there. Because remember, he was off the backside, so he, he could have potentially chipped that in, as you've seen him do on that other hole, uh, the par 5, so... I'm not, not counting that out, I'm giving him, like, like even in the best case scenario, I'm saying that he probably still would have been too back on that, but... Oh, oh! What? Did, did that stop on the rock, or is that... I, I mean, it does say fairway, but it's the sprite is most certainly on the rock. <laughs> It'll make fairways long enough for me. <laughs> and that's why distance is not the... Oh, I'm oh I'm up right. Oh, that's not good. I'm right up against the rock. Oh no! Is there anything that I can? Wait, what? I can't even hit off to the left. That's I'm a right-handed player. I should be able to hit off to the left at least. Can I go like putter and? Or is it just like permanently stuck here? I guess if can I like concede the hole if need be? <laughs> like if I'm per like if I'm perma stuck here. I'll, I'll just try putting it and see where it goes. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know I was aiming there, but okay. It's like, I, there was no line, so I couldn't tell where I was aiming. But I most certainly had to get away from that rock. Uh, well, <laughs> I will... But I will call that my best shot that I could possibly think of, I, I suppose, because I really didn't have much to go with there. I should have at least been able to put it off to the side, I swear. Ooh! Good recovery. <laughs> oh, and I see Max's strategy now. He literally does always aim... <laughs> Just bragging. I was gonna say, he literally does always aim... Yes, that's years of practice right there. <laughs> he always just aims straight for the pin, it seems like. Regardless if there's a better option somewhere else. At least it looks like that for the most part. Okay. Nice par. That will tie me, I suppose, sink or lose, but I think I will sink that. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good recovery considering I was up against the rock. Alrighty, still two up, 
many to go. I don't know, I wonder if I should extend this, like, purposefully lose a few holes to extend it to hole 8 and see if I can birdie that just to get the birdie badge now. Ah! That seems, like, too risky. Like, I could just end up messing up on the last hole then, beating him, even if I'm 1-up and then I'll go into, like, extra holes or something. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't. We'll just play things by ear, seeing how things go. And will it stop with my backspin? Yes, it will. Yeah, I think the spin is indeed helping me stay on the green, so I think I should keep that spin, tr uh, spin stat maxed out. Yes, very, very simple, Max. Nice shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, is that green regulation size? Well, well, I, uh, I don't think anything about this this game is regulation size. Welcome to the pros. Yes, welcome. Enjoy seeing me make this birdie putt. Probably. <laughs> Welcome to the pros, indeed. <laughs> three up now, with three to play, so that means I just can tie the next hole and outright win it. So he's gotta be winning each and every one of these last three holes in order to actually win the whole thing. So, yeah, maybe maybe I will just go back to this course later and replay hole eight for that birdie badge later, or whatever they call it. Yes, oh, don't hit the rock like that one time. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Nice and safe. Max Yards can outdrive me, but should he? I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. Those rocks look a lot smaller than the Unbound again. Those rocks look a lot, lot smaller than the, the the point that he touched them at. It looked like he was gonna bounce over the rock, but no, it did not. Oh boy. <laughs> I gotta get this to, like, land barely on the green if I want any hope of stopping this. So I'm gonna put it back there and hope for the best. Oh, no, actually, maybe not. That did have a lot of stopping power. Oh, maybe because of that slope. Another tiny green. Arr, I hate tiny greens. How does he keep landing on them? <laughs> That's in the bunker? No, that does not look like... It's like when my ball was put in the water, but it said it was in the rough. <laughs> uh, is that slope exactly straight uphill with me, or is that slightly off to the side? I, I think it's exactly with me, based on that angle. So I'm not gonna move it, I'm just gonna hit hard to get up the slope. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I won by four. <laughs> Welcome to the pros! <laughs> you can't beat me after I beat that course of death at the, at the place of death. No, not gonna happen. That was stupid. This course is terrible. <laughs> you wanna go to Wellworn Grove? Maybe you'll have better better chance. It's a course for amateurs. I'm too powerful for it. <laughs> then just use irons. Play iron. Play island to island with your irons. Well then, I guess I have a new partner. Fine, you were a terrible caddy anyway. <laughs> it was not a relationship that was meant to last. You misread everything. <laughs> Sounds like it was an exciting match. But that's not for us to decide. I'll get this uploaded and we'll see what the fans have to say. They're probably gonna berate me. Can I have a copy? You can watch it online. Dang! Sing by the office when you have time, okay? They're probably gonna edit it so it looks like that I lost or something like that. <laughs> I guess I could run there now really quick because, well, like 15 minutes of this part was already me just running around randomly through places, so <laughs> give it a smidge more content than me just running around randomly, I suppose. <clears throat> We're impressed with your work. We'd like to sponsor you, but you're still under contract with Lucky. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't have agreed to his deal so quickly. <laughs> if you can get out of the deal, you'll be rewarded greatly. Maybe I just had to beat him in golf. How would I talk Lucky into that? I feel like he'd instantly get the upper hand over me. <laughs> I'm not a great negotiator. I usually just do whatever people ask of me. Maybe he's, his mind is taken over from the great wizard. Yes, that's one of the main qualities I like in you. Just go in there and demand to face him for your freedom. 
agree to whatever stipulations he wants. He'll probably ask me to sign a longer contract. If you win, you can sign with us. If you lose, well, it doesn't matter much to us what else happens. It makes sense. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. So I guess to Lucky we should go take a quick run over there too. Go and challenge Lucky. Challenge him to golf? Or challenge him over the contract? <laughs> well, I guess we'll see really quick. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> I say. Yeah, I know I got my caddy and I could probably do something back over at Tidy Park, but... Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see what uh, Lucky has to say. Unless he's not in his office, but he's always in his office, it seems like. And what are you doing back here? I've come to challenge you for my contract. What? I challenge you to a match. If I win, then our contract is cancelled. If you win, then you can have whatever you want. That's a terrible bet. I love it! <laughs> we'll do match play on Cheeky Beak Peak. Not... what? Wellroom Grove? The grounds are terrible here. Hasn't that just been recovered? Ish? <laughs> Nine holes? Winner takes all. Meet me there. Wow, that didn't take much convincing. Alright! So it looks like we got ourselves a match. Heck yeah! And I, I really hope that he doesn't want me to be like his sex slave or something like that. But details! Details! <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I just better win the match. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I take him on at Cheeky Beak Peak, I guess.